Hi, this is Steven Yoon. Having lived in multiple countries across the globe, I find Korean public transportation to be the most reliable and relatively cheap. Let's say you happen to be in one of the busiest areas in Korea like Seoul. Considering getting a cab? Want to drive a car? Forget about it. Just imagine almost 10 million people trying to get to point B from point A in a tiny city. Traffic jams during the rush hours and aggressive drivers with their honking can be extremely overwhelming. With the underground subway system and dedicated bus lanes, Korean public transportation might be your best friend for getting around in the city. So today, I'll be showing you step-by-step step how to use the public transportation in Korea the most cost-effective way. If you are traveling in North Korea, you should check out this video instead. Step 1. Get a public transportation card. You can easily obtain these prepaid cards from a local convenience store, subway station, or tourist information center. Convenience stores can be found in almost every block. Just walk right in there and ask for a T-Money card. Unfortunately, these transportation cards cost 3,000 won and they are not refundable. But hey, it's far more beneficial than getting a disposable card since you can't ride the buses with it and get discounts for transferring lines. Also, it's less of a hassle. If you have a Korean bank account though, you can get a debit card that has this function already on it and it will automatically charge the transportation fee at the end of the month. Honestly, this is the best option if you work here in Korea. I would advise you to charge the card for at least 5,000 won, which will be sufficient for one day use. To be exact, if you travel within 10 kilometers, you'll be charged about 1,300 won. After 10 kilometers, an additional 100 won is charged for every 5 kilometers. So buy the card for 3,000 won and charge for 5,000 won. You can get a children's card if the child is under 13. The total cost would be 8,000 won and you are good to go. Step 2. Using the card. Now you got yourself your card. How do you use it? Well, it's fairly straightforward. When you get on a bus, put your card on the car reader. I highly recommend you to take out your card and beep it instead of putting your whole wallet on the card reader because you would probably have multiple other cards that can interfere with the signal. If the transaction is successful, you will see how much fee you paid and the money you have left on the display. If it's unsuccessful, then the machine will flash red and the bus driver will probably give you a look. All right. Along with the people lined up behind you. No. When you're getting off the bus, please make sure to beep your card once again on the card reader. If you don't, you won't get any discount for transferring and you'll be charged with a penalty fee. There's no way you could cheat the system. <laughs> Getting on a train is exactly the same, might be even easier. Tag your card when boarding, use the device on the right side. If you are lefty, well, tough luck. Likewise, if you want to exit, beep your card again on your right side. You probably need to transfer a few times unless you are traveling from a main area to another central area. If you take another transportation within 30 minutes, you will be charged by adding up the total distance traveled. This can be used up to 5 times. So make sure to beep in when boarding and beep out when getting off. Step 3. Charging your card. You've traveled and now you don't have any money left on your card. Charging your card is easy. Similar to buying the card, you can either go to a convenience store or a subway station. You can ask a cashier to charge your card for you. You don't really need to know any Korean if you just give them your card with the money. In a metro station, there's a machine that reads Ticket Vending and Card Reload Device. It's a big machine that you cannot overlook. Select the Reload Transit Card icon and place your card inside the red frame. Select the amount of money you want to put in. 
And finally, you can put your cash on the right side. And voila, it's done. There are many other places that let you top up your prepaid card. So if you ask around using the word 교통카드 충전, friendly Korean citizens will most likely assist you. As you can see, using public transportation in Korea is not as daunting as you might think. You can definitely save a lot of money by using the card system. If you're traveling in groups, getting a cab might be more convenient and cost effective. But then again, it all depends on your distance. I really hope you find this video to be useful. Now that you know how to use a public transportation, you might be wondering, hmm, how can I actually go to places in Korea? Especially when Google Maps is pretty much useless here. So I'm going to be making a video on how to navigate effectively in South Korea using a special app. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more useful contents about Korea. If you want to stick around and support my content, I'll be uploading bloopers and behind the scenes on Patreon. Thank you again and I'll see you later. Bye.